Hi, hi, this is Dr. Bonner. Uh, I would like to present you again a periodontal uh, patient. Uh, here is, is the uh, images or a video film of a deep, very deep periodontal pocket during a periodontal disease. Uh, in this case, I had to um, definitively remove the last root of the upper molar because it was too deep. Uh, I'd say 12, maybe a little more millimeter deep. So what you can see on the biofilm is the same as usual, but this time you see how many um, pots, I mean, there are many white cells, which are a little uh, round cell that have uh, those little granules dancing everywhere with three lobes, which are those three lobes are a nucleus of PMN neutrophil. And other than this, you can see the amoeba. Here you have three, four, uh, sometimes five amoeba. Uh, here it is. You have many big amoeba, which are very large. You can see the little nucleus, four microns very round circle uh, nucleus with the uh, dots in the middle and here you have three four amoeba one on top of the other uh, sometimes they are not moving much because uh, they have their life i mean uh, sometimes the some kind of sleep sometimes they uh, want to f to find some food sometimes they do phagocytic activity sometimes they do little babies so here they are like a little sleeping. So it's some kind of a uh, pus. Uh, some bacteria, but not that many. Many, many neutrophils here we've seen. Here an amoeba in the center again. And uh, this is typical of a very deep periodontal pocket. So amoebias is what we can see. Um, oral amoebias is during periodontitis is very uh, strong. Uh, uh, importance because you see those amoeba you have one here in the middle one on the left two in the center two three a little young one on the upper right is like a junior amoeba uh, it's uh, surrounded by one two three four five about ten uh, neutrophil uh, polymorphonuclear neutrophil here again many amoeba one two three four five six or about uh, eight of them and sometimes you see those little ones that don't have the nucleus already there. So to me, it's really an aberration to not to talk uh, about this problem of oral amoebiosis during periodontitis. Most of the time from the little periodontal disease, very fine little periodontal disease, sometimes it's just one papilla that is... Uh, uh, having periodontal disease, sometimes more, sometimes all the mouse, sometimes molar and sizzle uh, pattern. This here is a um, last molar, upper molar, which sometimes very difficult with the furcation involvement. And again, uh, there are not so many bacteria. There was one little uh, baby amoeba on top right, now amoeba in the center, with another one, a fairly small one on top of it. Uh, most are white cell, one, two, three, four amoeba here again. And all those big dots you see in the amoeba are a nucleus of PMN they have eaten. Sometimes they eat red cell, so, uh, most of the time they eat uh, neutrophil red cell. So this one in the middle uh, probably has eaten many red cell. It's a baby one on the lower of the mother maybe, mother one in the in the center. So you see baby amoeba, just lower of this big amoeba. Um, <clears throat> so most of them are 30 microns, maybe a little more, 50 microns. Sometimes it can be bigger. Um, one thing is patients are uh, forgotten in this area because microscope is not used anymore. See the small minuta amoeba in the center, just lower of the PMN white cell, two or three or four PMNs on the upper right. So this is typical of periodontal disease. Might be bacteria, might be bacteria, beginning with the gingivitis uh, problem. Uh, but uh, clearly it becomes oral amoebias in most of the time. 
guys report 100% uh, higher than 7 millimeters, 7 and higher had those amoeba. So this should be seen as pred aggressive predator. And this we can, um, we can actually confirm it is very active because a lot of white cell, a lot of pus, living pus, living white cell, PMNs everywhere. So system is responding to this attack. So here in the middle, little baby amoeba, and you see neutrophils around it are uh, almost, uh, they have no more granules inside because it has been um, numbed by uh, some amoeba uh, and, um, before. So here again, pus, some small amoeba on the top, lots of white cells, uh, one amoeba again, many white cells, many white cells that do like bubbles, so they have no more granula, they have no activities because of the amoeba that numb them. Uh, here again, the same. So it is very expressive of periodontal active disease. So if you want to get rid of periodontitis, you have to get rid of oral amoebiasis. Sometimes it is more aggressive when you have amoeba and trichomoniasis, you know, but most of uh, periodontal disease is like this. It's very active oral amoebiasis. So treating oral amoebias is some kind of easy because we know you can contact, contract this uh, parasite. You have to get rid of any gingivitis or any bleeding because those amoeba feed on, um, on the white cell and red cell. This is aggressive predator. This is vampire. It just eats white and red cells. So if your patient Ask your dentist to look at this on the microscope and get rid of this uh, infection during periodontal disease. Thank you for listening.